Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be Hopalong Cassidy. Original air date is October 27th, 1951, and the title is Bayou Drums Mean Death. Well, let's get into it, and thanks for listening. <laughs> With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West. Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? It's one that took place down in Louisiana Bayou country. California and I had brought a shipment of saddle and thoroughbred horses to a breeder named B. Levasseur. As the last stage of our journey was by a Mississippi River boat, he was to meet us at the landing in New Orleans. Uh, excuse me, would you be Mr. Cassidy and Mr. Carlson? Yes, I'm Hopalong Cassidy, ma'am. This is California Carlson. You're from B. Levasseur? I am B. Levasseur. The B's for Blanche, which you may call me. I detest the formality of these southern aristocrats, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Well, we brought the horses. Yes, I see them. They're very nice, too. My men will take them on to the plantation. You and I can go to the bank and complete the arrangements. You wish cash? Oh, a draft would be fine. Mm. I figured on sending it back to the bar 20 by mail. California and I are going to stay in New Orleans for a few days and see the sights. You're going to stay? Well, that's wonderful. You'll be guests of the Lavasseur Plantation while you're in Louisiana. But, uh, we kind of planned on staying at the St. Charles. Nonsense. I won't hear of it. You'll be much more comfortable at our plantation. That's mighty thoughtful of you, ma'am. Oh, you cowboys. Let's drop the ma'am. The name is Blanche, remember? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Blanche. Mm. Not handsome, but lots of character in your face. You a bachelor, California? Well, uh, sure. Uh... Don't hate women, do you? Well, well no, I don't. Uh, well, uh, uh... well, good. You two can ride out with me in the carriage. We uh, we can get better acquainted on the way. We have our own horses, ma'am. Uh, Blanche. <laughs> They'll be well taken care of, Hopalong. My, don't men out west have given names? <laughs> when we're born, we do. But somehow we usually get a new handle by voting age. <laughs> Most people call me Hoppy. <laughs> Hoppy. Okay, Hoppy, Hoppy it shall be. Well, now, shall we go? My cousin will be waiting for me. Your cousin? Yes, Philippe, the Marquis de Lavasseur. It was his plantation before I took it over. The war ruined him, you see. Uh, then you ain't a native here, you talk, Yankee lingo. No, I was raised in Philadelphia. Philippe was educated in England, but he's lived most of his life in Louisiana. We're French only in name and uh, our emotional capacity. You seen a doctor about it? Uh, no, I've seen you. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Shucks, I ain't good for nothing but ten and horses and cows. <laughs> oh, I can train you. <laughs> oh, it's going to be good to have you around the plantation. Has such a frightening atmosphere lately. Frightening? In uh, what way? I, I'm not sure, Hoppy. Just a feeling of foreboding. And the unrest among the field hands, of course. They're causing you trouble? No. No, it's all very vague, I know, but... They're restless. They're nervous. The activity of Haggard's responsible for it, I know. She's been conducting secret ceremonies and rituals down in the bayous. Just a minute. Uh, who's Haggard? Haggard? Haggard is a witch. A witch? Oh, that's silly. Is it? I wish I were sure. You see, Haggard's known to be a priestess of the oldest of black arts. Voodoo. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and the thrilling story, Bayou Drums Mean Death. Hoppy and California have been invited to be the guests of Levasseur Plantation upriver. Things are not easy at the plantation. The activities of a strange old woman known as Haga, priestess of voodoo, are causing trouble. Now, the carriage is drawing up at the big plantation house. 
Josh, put the carriage away. Well, gentlemen, here is Levasseur House. At your command and service. It's magnificent, ma'am. Blanche. <laughs> yes, I find it so. I've spent a great deal of money putting it back into good shape. How come it's sitting up in stone piles like this? Well, the danger of floods always present in this country, California. And two, being raised helps keep snakes from entering the house. Uh, snakes? Uh, you got rattlers here? No, no rattlesnakes, California. But plenty of cottonmouth water moccasins. They're just as poisonous. Worse. They don't warn before they strike. Yeah, that's true. Well, let's go into the library. Oh, here's my cousin. Philippe, we have guests. Oh, hello, Blanche. I was worried about you. Greetings, gentlemen. Welcome to Levasseur. Hop along, Cassidy, California Carlton, my cousin, Philippe Marquis de Levasseur. Happy to know you, sir. That goes for me, too. Thank you. I hope you are planning an extended visit. Ah, uh, Blanche was very kind to invite us here, but I'm afraid we can't stay very long. I keep forgetting that Blanche is owner now of Levasseur Plantation. It is hard, you understand. Oh, now, Philip, please don't talk like that. Perhaps our guests would like a glass of sherry before dinner. Nothing for me, Blanche. I would like to get cleaned up a bit, though. Oh, certainly. I'll have you shown to your rooms. But hurry back down, won't you? I want to show you the treasure of Levasseur House after dinner. Hey, now, Blanche, they're not interested in that. Not interested in a priceless gem with a bloody history nonsense, Philippe. Of course they are. As you wish, my dear. It's a gem, you say? <laughs> it's a gem, all right. A ruby. Hagger named it right. It's the death ruby. <laughs> Goodness sake, are you going to take all evening washing? Uh, uh, nope, it's all yours, California. Where do you toss our war bags? I need a clean shirt, and so do you. But I just put this one on day four yesterday. It's uh, practically clean. California. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, all right, Hoppy. Uh, the war bags are over behind the bed. Uh-huh, thanks. Darn nonsense. Hm. Wish I was back herding cattle. They don't care if you wear a clean shirt. Don't care if you even wear a shirt. In fact, don't care at all. Hmm. Cattle are sure nice. California, come here, quick. Uh, what is it? Uh, well, I'll be a three-horned maverick. Dolls. Ain't they cute? Hardly cute, California. They're voodoo dolls. Voodoo dolls? Uh, what's them pins sticking in them? A sign of death. Yeah? Uh, <clears throat> when do we leave? Not for a while. And keep quiet about these dolls. I want to find out why we're being warned. <laughs> Uh, that was a meal like none I've ever eaten. Hmm. Sure wish the grub was like that back at the bar 20. <laughs> I'm so glad you liked it, California. Would you gentlemen care for your demi tasse in the library? Well, that's kind of silly, ain't it? Of course not. We'll go in there to have our demi tasse. You ain't got yours here with you? To state the obvious, no. Well, I'll be darned. California, a demi tasse is a small cup of coffee. Uh, yeah? Uh, well, why in heck didn't he say so? Sure, sure, I'll go along with that. Uh, Bring on the demi tasse, mister. Uh, you take my arm, California. What for? Are you tired? Take it. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Ah, that's it. Oh, you're very strong, California. Yeah, I, I am. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, here we are. Have seats, everyone. I'll bring the exhibit. Uh, Fleet, would you take down the picture? Well, uh, as you wish. This isn't really a safe. But it serves. A hidden panel under a picture. Yes. Isn't it melodramatic? You see, I push the panel aside. Here it is. The death ruby itself. Take a look. Wow. It's as big as a ripe buzzard egg. What a gruesome simile. That's a beautiful stone. So red. Almost like blood. Mm-hmm. Pigeon's blood is the term used to describe this type of ruby. It is very beautiful. Well, we may as well enjoy it now. I intend selling it soon. It blench. What are you saying? Well, he took it excited. I can use the money. And it is mine, remember. Uh, yes, yes, I know. But it is a Levasseur heirloom. It has remained in our family for three generations. I said I'm selling it, Philippe. That settles the matter. With enough mystery and curses around this place without keeping this jinx. Brought violent death to four men before our family bought it. And already two Levasseurs have paid the penalty of possessing it. I don't intend to be the first. You mean you actually believe a curse follows the owner of this ruby? Well, I, I didn't until lately, but... Now I have the feeling that I'm in terrible danger. Well, nothing's going to hurt you while Hoppy and me's around. I know. You will be my protector, California. 
But I, I feel sure if I sell this ruby that danger will leave. A man's coming out to buy it in a few days. This idea of your being in danger is silly. Your nerves are upset. The drums. Drums? What drums are those, Philippe? Voodoo drums. Off in the bayous. Hagger's doings. She's been encouraging a return to voodooism. Has all the field hands aroused. Some swear they've seen zombies and the like. They have been seen, Master. Uh, Hagger. However, uh, Harvey, I uh, wish we'd had guns on. Guns would be useless, man of cattle. Bullets cannot harm me. Hagger, what are you doing in my house? I've told you to stay away from here. I have come to warning, madam. Warning that death is to strike your house tonight. Death? Voodoo death. And tonight, Hagger knows. Hagger has spoken. <laughs> Harvey, we gotta get out of here. This place is too spooky for me, and that witch, Hagger, I didn't like the way she kept staring at us. <laughs> California, there's no such thing as spooks. Besides, what could she have against us? Here's our room. Well, Hagger ain't quite all hoppy. This Blanche, she's got some funny notions, keeps waiting on me, taking care of me like I was plumb helpless. Come on, hurry up and light that candle. This dark ain't cheerful. I can't find it. It was over here on the table. But, California, listen. What? What was that? Something's in this room with us. Easy. I got the candle. Here. There. California in front of you. Don't move. It's a snake. Who's moving? Careful. He's ready to strike. I can just get him with this heavy picture like this. Oh, brother. You got him, Hoppy, you got him. He's killed. Where's my gun? I ain't going around naked no more, no, sir. That forty-five's going to sleep with me. That uh, may not be a bad idea, but our worst danger is not a snake. Well, it'll do for me. No, oh, that cotton mouth had help getting into our room. And I know that candle was moved. If we'd kept blundered around... Never we'd... mind. Guess what would have happened. We'd have both been bit. Hoppy, let's get back to where snakes rattle. Why, California, you sound scared. I am. But it ain't only snakes and voodoo. That Blanche, she's getting some mighty strange ideas. Well, maybe we'll move into New Orleans tomorrow. At least we blocked Haggis' prophecy about death coming to this house tonight. Yeah, and that death is something I just love to block. Especially mine. <laughs> It'll ruin her stock when it gets around that she failed. Hoppy! And that came from downstairs. Come on, that was someone dying. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Bayou Drums Mean Death. Hoppy and California's arrival at Levasseur Plantation in the Louisiana bayous has set off a series of strange events. First, they find voodoo dolls marking them for death. Then, after Hagar, the voodoo priestess appears and warns of death, Hoppy and California narrowly avoid a poisonous snake in their room. A few seconds later, a scream rings out from downstairs. In the library, this way, California. Blanche, Philippe, who's that on the floor? Oh, Hoppy, it's Josh. He's dead. The man who drove us out from New Orleans, Hoppy. Yeah. What killed him? There's no mark on him. I'm afraid. Yes, yes it is, Philippe. You know it is. Uh, what's she saying? What is uh, it? It's, it's voodoo. Hagger warned us. We should have known it would come. But why Josh? Who'd want to kill Josh? Now, Blanche, try and control yourself. California, help Blanche to her room. Blanche, do you have any sedatives? Yes. Yes, I do at my room. Take one and try to rest. Come on, Blanche. Uh, take my arm. Thank you, California. I'm afraid my cousin is becoming quite attached to uh, your man, Happy. He's not my man. He's my partner, Philippe. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess we'd better take Josh's body away. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Uh, where shall we take him? I guess the tack room will do. He has no kin. We can bury him tomorrow. Tomorrow? 
Aren't you going to get the sheriff? To investigate a voodoo death? No. In this country, when a man dies without a mark, after a voodoo warning, we bury him deep and forget him. That way we stay alive ourselves. Philippe, stop that pacing. After last night, I'm nervous enough. Very well, my dear. Oh, California, I'm so glad you're here. My nerves are just shattered. I'm, I'm frightened. No, Blanche. No, Blanche, stop it. Your constant babbling of fears makes us look ridiculous. Remember, the blood of the Bonapartes flows in your veins. Shut up, Blake. What do you mean? Oh, very well. But, my dear cousin, try and have some family pride. Must you spill over like a leaky dam in front of your guests? Philippe, that's enough. Now get out. I'm going. Remember, we have a burial to attend. As soon as the men finish digging Josh's grave. What effect is the death of Josh going to have on the unrest among your field hands, Blanche? I don't know, Hoppy, but it won't be good. He's dying in our house. We'll be blamed. Blanche, uh, I think you should call this burial off today. What? It's a matter that needs an official investigation. Investigation? I didn't want to tell you before, but I think Josh was murdered. And not by voodoo. Are you sure? How do you know? I'm not sure. Come with me. I want to see his body. There's something peculiar about one of his fingers. Uh, Blanche! Blanche! He's gone! Well, 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 who's gone? Josh! His body has disappeared. Well, that ends the problem of burial. I guess I may as well dismiss the hands. They came in for the funeral. California, you better go with him. It may stir him up if they uh, take Josh's disappearance wrong. Sure, Hoppy, and uh, I'm wearing my gun. And see that you don't use it. Oh, no, Hoppy, uh, yeah, yeah, all right, Hoppy. Justin Snake. Be careful, California. Blanche, do you have any heavy gloves? Gloves? Yes, I have some I use for gardening. And maybe a pair of pliers? Yes, I'll get them. What are you going to do? I have a hunch about how Josh was killed. I'll need a few minutes in your library where he died, alone. Uh, where's Hoppy? Well, he'll be back in just a moment. How did the hands take the news of Josh's body vanishing? Badly. Very oh. badly. They turned so ugly. I was afraid California would have to use his gun after all. Not me. I sure wasn't going to fight all them people. You sure hire a mess of them. Must have been hundreds. Hundreds? Philippe, then they... Yes, Blanche. It was a gathering of all the workers' families in this section of the bayous. But it probably doesn't mean much. You know how they love to have an excuse to get together. No, not this time. This time it's not good. Philippe, do you realize what will happen if Hagger actually stirs them into violence? If they revolt, every plantation owner in the bayous will be massacred. Oh, it ain't that bad, Blanche. California, you don't know. They're simple people, but very superstitious. Under the stimulus of voodoo practices and Hagger's ranting, a revolt could be ghastly. They outnumber us 50 to 1, California. And that's the danger. But Blanche is letting her imagination run away with her. Oh. Blanche, I have bad news for you. What now? Your ruby. It's gone. Hoppy, do you have to go tonight? It's nearly dark. The sheriff has to be notified, Blanche. You can't ignore robbery and murder. Well, well can't California stay with me? Oh, no, no, no. I gotta go. I don't know, Hoppy. I gotta go. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, you better go with me. We'll be back as soon as we can, Blanche. So long. It's awful dark, Hoppy. You think we'll hit the main road soon? Not long, not wait. Pull up. Hey, hey, what's that light? Torchlight across the bayou. Come on and be quiet. Drums. Hoppy, them's voodoo drums. It's some kind of ceremony. I can see Hagger. That ain't all. Look at all them men. Shh. Listen. It is time, my people. Listen to me. 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 Here are the guns. Arm yourselves. Fist to 
Kill. Kill. Right, some guns. California, you'll have to get back and warn the Levasseurs. I'll try to break through for help. Poppy, you can't. The bayous between here and New Orleans are full of haggis, man. I've got to try it. Hago hasn't stopped this night. I'll be a bloody massacre. Go on, run for it. All right, Hoppy. But what do we do if you don't get help? What can you do? Make a fight of it. So long, partner. Blanche! Kelly! Blanche! Open up, it's me! Yes? California, come in. The hands are revolting. Oh. Haggy gave them guns. Hoppy wanted to get help if he can break through. Only he can't. We'll have to fight if he don't. You got any guns? Where's Philippe? Wait a minute, wait a minute. But Philippe is gone. When he heard the drums, he, he rode off after you. Oh, must have missed him while I was in that bayou. Oh, that dang digit. He'll get killed for sure. You saw Hagger giving men guns? Blanche, Hoppy and me were sitting right in the middle of a hull pastel. Oh, that was a very dangerous thing to do. You're so brave. Oh, it weren't nothing special. Oh, it was too. Look, you got any guns? You and me will have to fight in a minute. Oh, I'll never fight with you. Darn it, Blanche, you ain't paying no attention. Oh. Uh, show me them spare guns if there is any. Anything you say, California, cover me. I wish that moon had come up. You do? Sure, we could see to shoot a lot better. Oh, I was hoping you were getting romantic. Romantic? With Hoppy maybe dead and us about to fight a thousand men led by a crazy woman? <laughs> yes, I guess you're right. Here's the gun, Captain. Yeah, we're sure going to need him, I'm afraid. There. You grab all the shells you can carry and bring them over to the window in front. Yes, California. Holy cow, they're nearly on us. And no help around. Hoppy must have been caught. Then we're... Oh, California, we can't stand them off by ourselves. Sure, I know that, but don't harp on it. Oh, I, I only wish there was more time. Oh. oh, here they come. There must be a million of them. We ain't got a prayer. California, I'll, I'll try to be of help. Yeah, I know you will, Blanche. Better get yourself another window. Yes. California, look. They put out their torches. Yeah, get ready. They're going to attack. Try to pick off that witch hagger. California, look. I am, but I don't believe it. Must be the voodoo leader. A black rider with a head of flame. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. Well, did you see that? That flaming headed spook talked him into going home. And, and look, that spook rioters are coming. Why, he's taking off his head. It, it's Hoppy. Oh, let's go meet him. Doggone, I should have known. Oh. California, Blanche, it's me, Hoppy. Oh. Hoppy. Oh, is that really you? <laughs> Just call me Ra, the fire god. <laughs> well, with that coat over your head and that torch stuck up through the neck, you looked it. <laughs> well, it worked anyhow. I told them voodoo was bad medicine, that Haga was an evil witch. But the sheriff will want her now, I imagine. The sheriff? Uh, what does he want her for? For murder. She had a fight with a man who started this whole business and stabbed him to death. I couldn't break through to New Orleans, so I kept tabs on Haga. I saw her meet him. I'm sorry, Blanche. It was Philippe. Philippe? Oh, no, I don't believe it. Ah, oh, but it's true. I found a poison needle he planted in the frame of the picture covering the panel where you kept the ruby. Josh was trying to steal the ruby. His murder was planned to be yours. But why? Hoppy, why? The ruby it was a fake. Philippe had stolen the original to buy those guns for Haga. When you planned to sell it, he was forced to try and get rid of you. First by murder, then by starting the revolt prematurely. He had a bad kink in his brain, Blanche. Wanted to play Napoleon and lead an army of rebellion. Hagger was only a blind. Then uh, all that uh, voodoo stuff, it uh, weren't uh, real at all? All a fake, California. Yes. yes I see. <laughs> but Hagger was still right. It was a death ruby after all. Would you excuse me? Surely. Hey, uh, where's she going? Let her alone, California. It's been a shock to her. Shock. Mm, uh, that reminds me. I better get my horse and ramble while I can. What? 
Well, the danger's all over. You can stay now. The heck I can. I'm in worse danger than ever. Worse danger than being murdered? You're dang tootin'. It's called, uh, matrimony. <laughs> <laughs> Well, California seems to be fearful of nothing but matrimony at this point, even though he and Hoppy have just tangled with voodoo and found that bayou drums mean death. In their next thrilling adventure, Hoppy and California are mistaken for members of a bandit gang, and the mistake almost becomes a necktie party for them when Hoppy gets involved in the cleanup of Caribou Mesa. Up Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Bayou Drums Mean Death was written by Herb Purdom, with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.